get real quick, let's get to Islam versus Volkanovski so we can break this fight card down. 294, Islam versus Volkanovski 2. Uh, this fight got uh, released just yesterday. So back to <clears throat> back to back days, main event and co-main event switched up. It's crazy. And it might even be better. That's the wild thing about it. In the lightweight division at UFC 294, this is your new main event. Islam Mahache will now take on Alexander Volkanovsky. Charles Oliveira is out. Mahachev 24 and 1. Volkanovsky 26 and 2. Both guys with ridiculous records, and this will be the rematch. And some people thought Volkanovsky won the first fight, so let's get into it. Mahachev, four inches taller at 5'10. He's 31. Volkanovsky 35. The age should have an effect on this fight. Mahachev fights left-handed. Volkanovski stands right-handed. Now, Volkanovski is very active. And that's what caused problems for Mahachev in the first fight. And he can defend takedowns or and or go to the ground. But in terms of activity, uh, Volkanovski 6.3 significant strikes per minute to 2.4 for Mahachev. Mahachev doubles up Volkanovski in takedowns, 3.2. Over the course of three rounds. So that's like one every round. Volkanovski lands like one every other round. Mahachev 90% takedown defense. Uh, Alexander Volkanovski obviously has a high takedown defense uh, of his own. When you when you look into it, this was ma what, what makes for an interesting fight. Volkanovski 70%. So that's slightly uh, above average. But when he goes to the ground, he can get back up. So... We know that these guys have had other fights, but in the last fight, they fought each other. So let's break that down. It was 70 to 57 in favor uh, of Volkanovski and significant strikes. Right? <clears throat> so Volkanovski led there. Islam Mahachev had four takedowns to none, but Volkanovski was able to get up. Now, in a lot of other fights, when a guy leads in significant strikes, this doesn't seem like the takedowns are too much of a big deal, especially... It, if the fighter can get up. So really, Mahachev just dominated one, maybe two rounds on the takedowns. But in terms of the striking, Volkanovski led in that area but lost the fight by decision. So we get the rematch. Now, Mahachev was on a major tear before that. He still is. He's won like 12 or 13 straight over Charles Oliveira, Bobby Green, Dan Hooker, and so on. Volkanovski... <clears throat> Uh, has fought since that fight, beating Yair Rodriguez, seven takedowns, 66 to 40 in significant strikes. So both fighters are used to doing what they got to do to win, land takedowns, control the fight. It's a little bit tougher for Volkanovski to do uh, than it is for Mahachev. But in this rematch, both guys are going to be better. Volkanovski is going to be more prepared. He may try to land some takedowns. He may try to take more chances in the stand-up game. Mahachev is going to be better uh, because he took Volkanovski down and Volkanovski got back up. He's not able to match Volkanovski in significant strikes, so it just makes for a very interesting fight. But I can't go against Islam Mahachev. I mean, Volkanovski can come up here and steal the belt. Absolutely possible. But Islam Mahachev is still the better fighter at the lightweight level, at 155 pounds. So I'd like him to win another decision. This is going to be another long fight. Look for Mahachev to sneak out a victory the way he did in the first fight. And we shouldn't be mad because this is a tough opponent uh, in the featherweight champion, Alexander Volkanovsky. But Mahachev wins almost the same way to move to 25-1, and one, lightweight division, UFC 294. Yeah, that's the thing is I just see them both getting better in this fight. Like the precision, the accuracy, uh, the patience is going to be even on a much higher level in this fight because Islam now has to respect Volkanovski in a different way than he did coming in. And Volkanovski is going to have a little edge too because he realizes he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Islam, so he might press more. So the strategy involved in this fight is ridiculous. And it's probably better than the Oliveira fight. It's not that Oliveira can't win, but I think a lot of people expected him to lose. May not have been exciting unless he pulled it off. And this is just more exciting because this is champ versus champ. You know what I mean? So when you look at it like that, champ versus champ, like, and with the way the first fight went, it's just forget about it.
he's gon' fight, wait, he's gon' fight, wait, hold your breath till the end of the night. Last fight a call, UFC at its height. Yeah, bringing that thunder with all his might, saying, Step up, wanna fight? Huh? Hold up, think twice. Gladiator assassin, reckless, no abandon. Walk through that cage, he'll leave your ass stranded. Wake up, hey, where you at? Hey, got hit in the head with a baseball bat.